Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some features that I really like about EMUI 10 which is the operating system running on this tablet. This is the Huawei Mate Pad Pro. Let me start by saying that not all the features that you see in this video may be available on other Huawei tablets. All right, the first feature that I really like is when the tablet is sleeping, you can tap on the display to launch the notepad instantly without even signing in. The second feature that I like is when the tablet is sleeping and you tap on it to log in. Before logging in, you can actually swipe left or right with your finger to check out other beautiful wallpapers that are available. Third feature that I like is dark mode. Of course, this feature is now so common, you can find this from any company. So when you have dark mode engaged, apps that support this mode will also go into dark mode, such as this app, Notepad. The fourth feature is changing the home screen style. In standard mode, all the apps are shown on the home screen. This is how Apple does it. And with draw mode, this is the default Android style where you can actually hide some of the apps inside the app drawer and pull out the apps onto the home screen whenever you feel like it. Fifth feature is multitasking. You can swipe out from the left or from the right to take a look at the apps you can put onto the side. If the tablet is vertical, you can drop the app at the bottom or at the top. Unfortunately, you won't be able to have two instances of the same app in two windows. So this is Oprah and I am not able to open another window to place beside. Should you need to get more apps, you can click here to have to add all these apps here as shortcuts on the side. Feature number six is Huawei Share. So when you turn on this feature, it allows the tablet to be discovered by a Huawei phone, for example, and you can transfer files easily to and fro. Not just that, you can also turn on computer share. This will allow the tablet to be discovered on computer networks. Make sure you set a name and password on your tablet first. So this feature also works on Mac OS. This is Mac OS Finder and I can connect to my Huawei tablet and assess all the files that are on that tablet. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi will need to be turned on in order for this feature to work. Transfer speed is fast, but of course it's going to be limited by the speed of your wireless network. If you are using an iPhone or some other Android phone, your phone will not be able to detect the Huawei tablet. So if you want to do those one-on-one -on -one file transfers like AirDrop, you can use those file transfer websites like sharedrop.io SharedDrop can be used with Android, obviously, because it's a website. On iOS, you can use this app, Documents. You just have to open the connection on iOS, on iPhone, then go to the Huawei tablet, enter this link, docstransfer.com, enter the password, and you will be able to connect the Huawei tablet to the iPhone for file transfer. Feature number seven is one that I cannot demonstrate to you because I don't have a Huawei phone. But if you have a Huawei phone and it's running EMUI 10 and the phone has NFC, you can place your phone over this button here. I'm not sure if you can use this feature if you do not have this keyboard. Maybe you can. So with this feature, you will be able to see the screen of your phone on your tablet. And to find out what else you can do with this, you have to <laughs> find out on Huawei's website because I have no uh, phone to test for you. This last feature depends on the combination of EMUI and the tablet. So this allows you to connect the tablet and output video signal to an external monitor. This feature basically works just like Samsung DeX, which is the desktop mode. So right now I am doing a mirror mode and this is still in tablet mode. You can see all the icons here. So touch screen, by the way, still works. This is an external touch screen monitor. So I can swipe down and let me just go into desktop mode. Output from the Huawei tablet is USB-C and this monitor uses USB-C as well. So it can take video as well as audio input. A few things to note here. If your external monitor uses HDMI or some other video input, you just need to get an adapter. And 
this is still doing the one-to-one -one mirror mode so you can see black bars on the side here that's because the aspect ratio for this monitor is 16 by 9 for the Huawei tablet is 16 by 10 and earlier on the touch it was working fine but now um, the touch sometimes it's a bit wonky so sometimes I can touch an icon here and nothing happens or if I touch an icon here the touch may be registered somewhere else so if you really want to use an external monitor with touch screen just note that in desktop mode it's not going to work well so um, use your mouse I have just connected a Bluetooth mouse to the tablet so now you can see the cursor on the display and I am typing on the Huawei keyboard so this is desktop mode and this is um, the very typical thing you can do with a computer so you can have multiple windows you can maximize the window resize put them side by side you can do basically whatever you can do on your computer except since this is still running on EMUI Android 10 uh, there will be the Android 10 limitations unfortunately I cannot customize the display settings so there is no way for me to stretch EMUI to fill up the black bars on the side so these are the EMUI features that I like on this tablet if you know of any other features especially productivity tips and features let me know in the comment section below alright thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye